Hey guys, so it's day three of our trip. Today is Cavalino, today is the actual day. So we're loading some cars right now. We have a 360 here. And then F40 right there, getting loaded onto the truck. So the F40 is up next, but in the trailer, we already have the Marquetta, the GTO, and a few other cars. Pretty good looking room. Yeah. Well, we're busy. <laughs> Starting off. We just pulled over here waiting for the truck to come to unload some cars we rolled in in the 360 and we have the super america behind us as well and the 250 gto already went to the show which is just around the corner rolling into the breakers in the 360 with only 2,000 miles on it So now I've found my way behind the wheel of the 360, so I'm gonna, I guess, drive this car onto the lawn. And yeah, let's see, they're gonna go and load the rest of the cars, the F40, the GTO, all that stuff, and I just gotta kind of keep moving along with all the cars here. There's so many cars here. So we're driving the 360, 355, I guess we're about to go onto the lawn. So yeah, pretty cool, but there's crazy cars here. Daytona Spider. This is nuts, but it is raining unfortunately. Hopefully it's gonna stop soon. But right now the car is completely wet. La Ferrari just rolled in. Very cool. Um, another 250 GTO just rolled in. Okay. This is crazy. Look at this. Another F50 right there. It's just non-stop this year. Daytona Spider F40 right there. <laughs> There's a Roy here in a 360. Is it manual? No. Okay, sir. It has 2,000 miles though. I guess. That is an awesome spec 360 CS. I kind of wish I was in that 360, but I'm in this one. Also, we have another Super America there. The Love Ferrari is creeping up in the back. We're now getting the full show experience. We get to, ooh, America one. We get to drive the 360 onto the field, even though it is a 360. It is a 2,000 mile 360, which is crazy, but I didn't think this guy was going to be driving a Ferrari onto the field at Cavalino. This is so sick. 16M as well. Some cool stuff here. This is awesome. So my first time at the show when I got to actually drive the 360 in before I've actually never gone onto the field. Nice 355 challenge and this crazy yellow Enzo driving right here. This is mental. A few Super Americas right there. A Scud. TDFs, another TDF. Oh, that's pretty nice. 430. 512M. I mean, look at that. Enzo, La Ferrari, 1 F50, 2 F50s. I think that's a third. F40, F40, F40. It's mental here. And the sheer on from yesterday. Let's go! The white BBI, 288. That noise is an FXX that you can kind of see through the bush. It's coming here, let's go see it. America up 
but who cares right now? Last year they never even started these cars, now they're driving both of them. This is freaking crazy. Sorry about the wind, but one thing I just noticed about the LM, I mean not the LM, the FXX, is these, instead of mirrors, it has little cameras. This is pretty sick. But yeah, I can't really film too much here because honestly there's so much wind, the wind noise is crazy. And for those of you who don't know, instead of taillights, this car has a golf wipe. Why not? That's crazy dude. So this is the 206 S Dino from Auto. Actually, we filmed this back in April. Then the Enzo right here, the 250 GTO that we drove with this morning. Another 250 GTO. So the best part of car week this year was commentary about F50s by Joe. Joe, what do we have here today? Today, we have a Euro spec La Ferrari. Do I know much about it? No, I just know that it's red and it's a Ferrari and it's quite nice. Well, those are facts. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Rims. Wow. Not that big. It's pretty big. They're circle as well. Actually, matter of fact, 345, that's a, that's a that pretty That is actually pretty, pretty wide. Tires. That is pretty yeah. wide. Uh, let's go see the engine over here. Yeah. What engine does the LaFari have? God, if I fucking do. <laughs> Hybrid V12. Come on, man. Really? Yeah, Joe doesn't know about any engines made past 1960. As you can tell by how he's dressed. Yeah, I took the wrong time machine. <laughs> I no, this is this is really cool. And last time I've been uh, close to a lot Ferrari was uh, what do you call it? The Palm Beach Ferrari. They had a white oh, yeah? one. Oh, really? It was signed by all the people who worked on it. Oh shit! No way. Cool. Nice. But uh. I don't think there's much else to see besides the license plate holder that has no license plate. Boom. Oh, wait, wait, right there. Yeah, forget Boom. that. On the back of the cars as well. So we have the EB110 Super Sports right here. I suspect this one might be the same one from Curated, which would mean this is the LP640 from Curated, which would mean it is a gated manual. Only one way to find out. I don't see paddle shifters. And yes, it is one of 30 something gated manual LP640s. Kind of cool when the Lambo is one of the coolest cars at a Ferrari show, and another one of the coolest cars is an EB110. So while we're looking at a Mercilago, there's an F40 right there, but it's like six parking spots away, so I'm not gonna walk all the way there for an F40. So we're here on the lawn. We have a 288, one, two, three US spec F40s, and yeah, like I know they're more rare, but again, the European just looks so much cleaner. Another US one right here then this f50 and another one and a LaFerrari and another f50 there's no shortage of f40s or f50s this year i don't think i've ever seen this many here yellow enzo the white 512 bbi and of course the american Testarossa. this is crazy i've never seen so many f50s actually i have in car week never mind uh, 512 bbis I think that's the 360 I drove in right there. They're currently judging this yellow Enzo. They just turned it on. They're checking all the little bits, the indicators, brake lights. So this is the 360 that I pulled in. Next to that is a 355 and a 355 Challenge. And also this beautiful 550 Barquetta. Yeah, they're currently judging the Barchetta. Actually, I haven't seen too many specialities here, so pretty cool to see a nice white one. Another 458, and then this GTO as well. We saw this in the shop uh, where the 250 GTO was. A few more 599s. This is a beautiful 
360 CS. I've never seen one in this color, no stripes. It's very, very clean. And here we have a lineup of 575s. Two of them are in regular ones, two of them are Super Americas. One of them should be the manual one, I believe. This one's paddle shifters. And I think this one would be the manual. Oh, never mind, there's another paddle shifter car. So the manual is somewhere else. But then here we have a very, very nice Scud. And a TDF right there. Black SF90. And this is a really, really nice TDF. I feel like I've seen pictures of this one somewhere before. This is the manual Super America. So cool. Then I don't know what's going on with that. 599 right there. And a nice 512 BVI. Yeah, so here we have two more F40s. I think we're up to about nine F40s here. Another US spec. I mean, they're supposed to be rare, but I swear to God, I've seen like six of them. And then Pet Freds. This one kind of looks like a liveried up F40 LM, but it is a regular F40. I don't think I've ever... Actually, I think it was a quail. Just so you understand how common these F40s here are, we have two right here. If I literally just step this way, zoom in, and boom, another one right there. He just stopped rubbing. Well, we got a dog right here. Interesting spec on the SF90 Spider. Gold wheels, gold accents, red interior. Oh no, it's just covers, but I don't know. Just interesting spec. I think it had gold paddle shifters. We're about to go for lunch. Cool A12 GTS with polished wheels. AMG GTR Pro. And two Iras. Coupe and a Roadster. That is a nice A12. Green on tan. The other F40 turned into a Mach E, but another F50 showed up. I think there's like four or five F50s here. So we saw this Turbo S and we kind of thought it was a wrap because it's a very kind of out there color. But we looked and this thing is painted. And then if you look inside, all the interior trim matches the paint. I don't think I've pointed this out before, so I was just looking at the Turbo S and then I walked out, I realized I'm sitting next to a 16M and I didn't really notice, but 16M. Neo Pina 7, it, honestly, I usually don't like 7 Series interior, gross. but this one's crazy. It's it's the grill plus the car. But yeah, well, it's, the, the, it's the, mostly grill, a little bit of car. And the wheels plus the car. Two F430 Spiders, this one is gated, and this one has a non-mint condition BPF. What is this? It's a heritage model. Oh. So... Bentley used to have Bentley blowers from 1920s or whatnot, and Recreation tows them. This might be like a, what, 2022, 2023? Something like that. So they made these um, retributions to these Bentley blowers where there's, I believe, only nine of them. And aside, they made custom ones that were... Oh. He's looking, he's looking for them. Oh. We found it. No, that's Thank awkward. You. Like Fact checking and Joe is correct. Limited to 100 cars. Sick. I have the old cars at home. 296. GTO. And a TDF with an SF90. Sneaky right here, V12 Voice 760i. But another non sneaky V12 Voice Rolls Royce fan. Hertz Mustang GT. Come on, Joe. Listen, Come on. I'm not trying to get in the way. Here, let me let me redo this except I'll go around the other way. Okay, okay, well, let's do this. Okay, that's better. Okay, now Hertz Mustang. It's a five liter. Are these supercharged? I uh, I don't believe so. No? So what's the just the paint scheme? It's five yeah. it's Automatic. Back in the day that they made these cars with Hertz. It's just a special edition. It's not really that special at the size of your average GT. Anybody can put stripes in a car and make it look cool. Well, make it look cool is uh, debatable. It's got cool Brembo brakes, though. That's yeah, but the cool. rims are not. The rims look like they're bought on sale. Yeah, Alibaba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a Pista Piloti. Very cool. I th Jason, these you can only get if you race challenge, right? Yeah. Sick. A12 Comp and 458 Spider. Almost two identical pieces of spiders. The wheels are different and the calipers are different. I think this one might not have blue carbon, but close enough. Get ready to see the best car here. Boom. Oh yeah, let's go. Nothing like a 98 Boxster.
Speciale aperta. SF90 spiders leaving. This defender has literally gone around 10 times and now there's like six people in the car. Oh, it's the family. So I think that's a manual 599 because I heard them announce something about a manual 599. Another F50. The GTO and the manual LP640. End of the show, everybody's kind of wrapping up. We got F50, F40, more F50s there, more F40s here. There's supercars everywhere, love Ferrari. So I think everyone is kind of bringing everything back here and then whoever's driving them home is gonna drive them home, whoever's loading them up on trailers is gonna load them up on trailers. Some cars might stay here overnight, but this is kind of done for the day. I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm sure we're gonna see some more cars. Oh, this is pretty cool. A ton of these older Ferraris are right-hand drive. The back end of that looks sick. Another F40 rolling in. So the event's over, we found a GT2 RS, which Jason definitely doesn't have one at home, so uh, you know, gotta leave it. But the one thing I've never seen, I don't know, this guy put like this little black and red stripe on the carbon hood, and he's also got like the red um, interior. Oh, it's got a roll cage. That's pretty cool. Quick startup of Larry's Turbo S. Not that loud actually, but when he drives it, it's actually really, really loud. Uh, but yeah, that's our Explorer. Not bad. Next to that is our Explorer ST Line Rental. Uh, that's it for the day. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to Miami, spot a little bit of Ball Harbor. Hopefully, we see something cool. Uh, but yeah, see you guys, I guess, tomorrow probably.